Hi everybody, it's Randy Kolarski here with Crypto Daily. Today we're going to talk to Georgie, the CEO of Orox Platform. It's a trading platform. I would say it's very similar to TradingView, but with a whole bunch of extra things. And I know a lot of you are out there using those types of platforms. You're paying for them. Well, you need to check out Orox. I've been using it for uh, about a year and a half. And if you go back to my YouTube channel in the past, you'll see a bunch of videos I made using Orox. The indicators were fabulous. So Georgie, introduce yourself and tell us about Orox. Hi, Randy. Thanks for having us on. And uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Georgi, and uh, we're um, basically launching Orox uh, live. It's been out there for a couple of years now. Uh, we've been developing it self-funded, uh, no ICO money, no VC funds or anything. It's our kind of child. And we've been taking uh, on users at a crazy pace right now, and then everyone loves it. So um, I just kind of want to jump in and just show you you guys the platform and see what everyone thinks um, and then we have some special things coming up to uh, that we'll probably discuss a little later absolutely so go ahead and share, share your screen and take us through some of the great features of Orox. so I got the platform pulled up right now can you see um, no not yet no let me see there it goes okay Cool. Um, so this is kind of the demo uh, workspace that everyone will see when they first log in. Um, you know, you have your chart, your market overview, order book, news. And then we also have this sidebar, which has uh, little widgets here and there. So you have uh, like the open orders. If you're actually actively trading, you have the market cap uh, area where it just displays the entire uh, market and all the volume and uh, supply and everything. Then you have news. Then we have analysis feed over here, uh, chat, and then finally signals that are based on our indicator and it also has whale alerts and stuff. And then some other little details here. We're actually even giving away $50,000 uh, to people that refer users. So anyone that clicks on your link or through your shared chart, uh, you'll actually enter into or you'll actually get commission for referring users to us. But as far as the platform goes, you know we have these little widgets on the platform. They can be moved around. Uh, resize however you see fit um, and um, just kind of create a workspace for yourself and then if you want other workspaces all you have to do is you know click this workspace button add a workspace and then you just choose uh, some of these templates we have or you can simply choose a blank template and then uh, create your own little workspace with it so we'll just do um, uh, a blank template uh, name and test and then confirm and then from there, we can start launching these different widgets that we have available over here. So we can launch, you know, multiple charts. Um, we can have multiple order books, uh, kind of do whatever we want with it. Um, you know, order form and position settings and, and so on and so forth. In order to activate these, they actually function off of this pair editor up here. And you just kind of create a pair out of... Uh, the exchange, the coin, and the account, even if you have an account attached. So I have some pairs up here. I could just create a new one. Um, let's, you know, pick Binance. Uh, and then we have these different pairs. You can actually filter them out if you want. Search through here. And then um, you can select an account if you have an account attached. So I have an account attached. I think it's a testnet account. But, um, you know, you can uh, pick and choose. You can even customize the symbol. Um, however you want so that way you know what it looks like uh, for later use and then we can even pin these symbols to the top bar right here and uh, extend it out so we can see the pricing as it moves uh, during the entire day and in order to actually use these pairs we can either you know scroll down here and they'll actually appear on this order book um, and you can just click on those or I can just drag and drop these onto each individual widget like so. And it'll activate it now I can actually use these, um, th these widgets um, and you know, we re arrange them, close them out. Um, and it just makes your um, trading a lot easier. Um, with uh, most of these exchanges, you don't get the customization that you want. Um, you're just kind of stuck into that one little screen where you have the order book. Uh, one order book, one chart, uh, and then you kind of have to have multiple tabs open and keep up with everything. Or if you have multiple exchange accounts, you can't really, you know, you have to have multiple tabs open and keep flipping between those things. 
Uh, whereas with Aurox, everything is on one little terminal, so you don't even have to go to a different tab. So I can pay attention to Binance, I can pay attention to Bitfinex, I can pay attention to X, Y, Z coins at the exact same time. Um, and even like different intervals on the chart, so I can have multiple charts open on different intervals. And that's actually what we suggest when you're using some of the indicators that, uh, that we have. Uh, we have strategies to use our indicators and, um, you know, paying attention on different intervals is, is very, um, very helpful. And um, on top of that, just the basics, you know, we support 65 exchanges. You can see there's about 20,000 active pairs that we're getting data from. So it doesn't really matter what exchange you're trading on. We most likely support it. Um, but anyways, that's kind of the basics of the platform. That's, uh, that, that's how you can use it as an advantage over just trading directly on the um, exchange itself. But there's a lot more to it. And uh, one of the things that we've uh, tried to incorporate is to help beginners or, and even advanced users uh, make money because um, that's what everyone cares about. You know, that's why people. For, for example, for, I loved it. You know, I was making those videos back in you know six months ago, and they're. It, I'm a horrible trader, <laughs> and yeah, I just I mean, use the indicators. I only use the indicators. That's all I did, and I had a good time. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, most people are that are in this business haven't really been a trader for many years. So, you know, they jumped into cryptocurrency because a lot of people jumped into cryptocurrency, especially during the 2018. And even now uh, we're seeing like a skyrocketing amount of signups uh, coming in because Bitcoin's up, you know, it's at 23,000 right now. But most people don't even know how to use indicators. They don't know how to use Fibonacci numbers and draw uh, support and resistance lines and, and things like that. So our platform is, you know, making it easier for people like that to jump in, um, listen to our guides, listen to our videos, and um, start making successful and educated trades. Because that's in the end, that's all that matters. Okay, I got a, I've got a, could you pull down, um, can you actually bring down the indicators? Because you guys have a bunch of uh, quite expensive indicators that you're giving away for free right now for people to use. Yeah, so uh, we're keeping the platform currently for free. Just, you know, uh, we have some amazing products that we're going to be launching. They're going to be paid, but some of the stuff that you will see here is going to be kept free. And uh, at least for now, we might change our business model later down the line. But for now, everyone can kind of take advantage of these indicators um, and use them and, you know, pay attention to our guides. So I'll just kind of go through them uh, one at a time. Um, so we have the volume profile that's kind of, you know, basic, uh, most platforms have it. I know trading view charges, you have to be on their, um, I think it's like 1999 plan at least in order to have volume profile. So we have that available for free for anyone that wants to use it. And you can kind of see it over here. And, uh, what volume profile does is, it, uh, if you know, you guys don't know about it is it, it allows you to view volume based on price, like where the majority of the trading uh, took place at a specific price point. So we can see, um, you know, a lot of trading around here took place uh, in the past, uh, what is this, uh, about past four days. Um, whereas, you know, there's a lot less volume down here. That means if it approaches this price point over here, we should see a lot more, uh, I would say, fighting over where the price is going to go. Uh, because a lot of people either entered or exited the market in this range. And um, that's kind of what the volume profile helps us see. Um, in addition, we have, let's go over here. We have uh, Fear and Greed that's uh, live and it actually updates live on the chart. Whereas, you know, it's, I don't think TradingView has that. I, I know there's some uh, some uh, custom indicators that uh, that users have written, but it doesn't really update live, whereas ours is uh, fully updating um, as it goes along. And we can actually see it's pretty high right now. So uh, the market's uh, pretty greedy, and um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a correction, especially after seeing this, uh, this huge uh, run up. And if we actually go to, um, let's look at uh, one week. Um, if we look at one week, you can see it's actually at the highest point it's been since the last uh, crash that happened. So this is the further the data goes. So you can see every time we've approached this high point, we've seen a drastic drops in price. Um, usually what we recommend users that are uh, more, you know, buy and hold uh, type uh, traders, 
we recommend them buying in low areas. Uh, so buy, I mean, this one's probably didn't work out that well, but you know, buying in these low areas uh, where it's kind of stabilized, those are the, the most optimum places for a trader uh, to buy and then hold and wait for it to go up. Um, it just tells you kind of the sentiment of the market, um, helps you figure out where everyone else stands uh, as far as what, what the outlook of the market uh, is, is and how people think the outlook of the market is. I wish I, I, wish I would have interviewed you a year ago. <laughs> yeah. so, I, I, didn't, I had no idea how to use that indicator. So I wasn't yeah, interested. I mean, you can see like bottom of the barrel, like right here would have been an amazing area to, you know, buy and hold again, right here would have been an amazing area to buy, even like right here. So when you see these like spikes and then drops and then where it's uh, then uh, kind of stabilizes, those areas are usually places where you kind of uh, want to buy and hold. It might not work out. Like for example, right here, you might, you know, there was a huge drop, but again, it's not the worst place to have uh, bought. Bitcoin, I mean, it was at $6,000. Whereas in areas where it's a high peak, even like right now, it's a very high peak. Those areas are going to be a little more um, scary. Um, I wouldn't, you know, buy and hold right now. If you're not holding anything, I personally wouldn't be buying at $24,000 uh, to hold it. Um, I think that it's going to either correct for a little bit and then shoot up, or um, it's going to kind of trade sideways for a little bit here. Um, but let's take a look at, um, so I'm going to come back to our actual proprietary indicator in a bit. I want to go to um, the Orox lines. And this is what I mean about uh, helping users. Uh, let's switch this to the daily. Helping like beginner users that don't know how to use uh, Fibonacci numbers, that don't know how to draw those TA lines and stuff like that. Um, the Orox lines basically takes that equation completely out of out of it or it takes that completely out of the equation um, so it draws the support and resistance lines and it also draws trend lines and we can see um, this support and resistance area right here so usually when a support becomes uh, a resistance can become a support and and vice versa so it really doesn't matter uh, which you know you have the green dotted line and then you have the red dotted line this is actually resistance and this is a support uh, but usually they become you can see you know it went up above this uh, resistance and then it bounced down on this uh, resistance so it kind of turned it into a support right here and um, if you don't know how to you know draw these lines this indicator point and click and you have your support and resistance up and um, this works in conjunction with our indicator that i'll show in a little bit um, to you know scalp on the lower intervals because those support and resistance areas are they happen often and they're used often and it, it in my opinion not only is it based on actual um mathematical proof but it also is something that a lot of people look at and um, it's uh, it's basically a self-fulfilling prophecy. Uh, when everyone's thinking, you know, the support and resistance is at 1800, they're gonna make that happen because everyone's gonna wait for this to drop down to like 1800 and then buy it back up because they think it's a support and it's gonna bounce on it. Um, so that's kind of where uh, where um, we use it to our advantage in order to uh, make you know successful and educated trades. Nice. Um, and then let's pull up the actual rocks indicator and let's take a look at that. So this is the one that I was using when I was uh, yeah. still, I stopped, I stopped trading, but I still use the charts because I want to see what's going to happen in the market. And this is the one I was using. Yeah. Um, this kind of eliminates, um, it eliminates the need to do even more trade analysis. Now we're not going to tell anyone to, you know, just go buy these and, uh, go by this indicator and you know enter everywhere you see because that's not that, that's just impossible you know no indicator is going to be 100 percent accurate if it was you know we'd be sitting on a beach uh on an island that we just bought it's it's just not feasible for an indicator to be 100 percent accurate um yeah. it is possible for something yeah. uh to be um you know um extremely accurate like ours you know we back tested it and uh it's I want to say about 70% accurate on the daily interval and about 85% accurate on the weekly interval. So the higher the interval goes, um, the, the more accurate uh, it becomes. Um, and we can kind of see this area right here. This was 
um, about 1900, 19,100. 19, uh, and then from there, I mean, you can see a huge, you know, huge movement up there. Um, and the one thing that we tell people is these aren't really entries and exits. They're, uh, they're both entries. So the green simplifies uh, long, the red simplifies short. And you can see, you know, this one was wrong, but, you know, this one was right. So we could have shorted this market and it was a pretty decent uh, gain right here. And again, this one was a little delayed, but again, it, it did drop. Here we have a nice gain. Here we have a small gain, a little loss right here. But anyways, you can see, you know, there's some losses and there's a lot more gains. And we actually have tutorials and guides and to how to eliminate areas like this, how to eliminate areas like this. Um, and, to, you know, we send that out to our users. Those videos are also available in our um, chat, uh, in, in our Telegram. And if you do pay attention to them and if you do implement uh, some of the things that we teach, uh, you know, we've seen... Uh, users sending us messages in our uh, support, you know, thanks for this, you know, I'm up X amount of percent, so blah, 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 this and that. Um, but this is just kind of, uh, this is more of a, on the daily interval, it's mainly for people that, again, are kind of buying and holding. You know, you're trading once every week, maybe, uh, at the most, but that's not really, um, for a day trader, that's not really, you know, optimum. So what we have done is we've actually um, created a strategy from this indicator, from some of these indicators on the lower intervals to help you scalp. So what we do in-house in, in is basically uh, we trade on the lower intervals, not every day, but you know every day or two, uh, every few days per week. Um, so we'll scalp on the lower intervals uh, with one or two BTC and then take that money that we've generated, all that profit that we generate and then dump it into the higher intervals. So, you know, if we're making 10, 20 percent, well, actually, that's a lot. But if we're making like one percent uh, per day when we're scalping, then we take that profit, dump it into the daily uh, intervals. And then we see, you know, a lot more uh, returns on there. And that's how we start increasing our portfolio. That's how we start accumulating Bitcoin. Um, and, uh, you know, we've been very successful at that. So I actually want to show you um, just what I mean by that. And hopefully we see it happening here. Um, and this is what I meant about looking at different intervals, because uh, usually we'll have, you know, four or five of these charts on uh, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minute. And then depending on what we see, um, if everything lines up perfectly, we'll take an, um, we'll open up a order on that specific interval, monitor it and exit, you know, a few minutes, a few intervals down the line, and then uh, take that money and dump it straight into our uh, long-term holdings. Um, but basically, actually, we can see it happening right here. So it's very, very simple. What we do is we pay attention to the support and resistance lines and what we look for are bounces. Um, and what I mean by bounces is when it, you know, hits the support or resistance area and then bounces down. And it happens pretty frequently. Uh, I don't know if I can, uh, this is kind of late here, but you can kind of see this bounce here too. Um, but let's see, if, oh, right here. So we have another bounce right here on that support. Uh, this almost got close to bouncing, but when, uh, this bounce lines up with our indicator. So it lined up right here, it bounced right at the same time that we triggered the short sign. This is something that we would enter as a short, let it run down for, you know, I mean, this is on the three minutes. So we'd probably let it run down about $5,200 and exit. So that's $5,200 per BTC. If we're using margin, that's a little more. And, you know, every day you can make three, four, five hundred dollars uh, per BTC that you're trading. Because, like I said, it can happen um, three to four times per interval. And then if you're monitoring four or five different intervals, then um, you should be able to make a few successful few hundred dollar trades. Um, and again, we have this guide available in our telegram and we, you know, we sent out emails about this and this is, you know, what we've been doing in house, uh, scalping on the lower intervals, dumping it into the higher intervals. Um, and that's kind of, uh, you know, that, that those are the kind of the tools that we provide every user and uh, we want to educate them on how to use, um, Oroc successfully. Um, it's, it has a lot of um, functionalities and I feel like a lot of people don't want to 
uh, learn, but you know, Rome wasn't built in one day. Uh, it's, you know, you kind of need to learn these things and we've done a majority of the legwork, you know, we've, uh, um, cut it down as much as we can to make it easy for someone to jump in, you know, watch four or five videos. It'll take you two days at the most to kind of get a hang of everything. Um, and you've basically learned everything that we've uh, been learning for several years <laughs> just right. by following those little videos. Um, and, you know, that's what Orox, uh, that's what we think that or we want Orox to deliver to our users. Right. And then you've got all those other traditional indicators that everyone yeah. thinks they're a professional trader. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice, yeah. nice lines and fans yeah, totally. and all of those stuff. Yeah, uh, we use the, you know, the trading view charting library. Um, originally, we were actually planning on using a different library, but I know that everyone loves trading view. So, you know, um, we just thought that it might be easier for everyone uh, to adjust to the platform by using trading view. And uh, I think that everyone kind of enjoys that. Okay, great. Um, but yeah, um, so there, there's actually, I forgot, you know, placing orders through the platform as well. So you don't even have to go to Binance to place your orders. You can just link your API keys to this, look at this three minute charts, and then you can even, so one thing that I like to do is uh, when I have these different intervals open, I'll actually have a workspace specifically dedicated uh, to trading on those intervals. So if I see, you know, if I see something like this, all of a sudden I'll flip to a, this is kind of a, my demo account, so I don't have it on here, but right. um, if I see something like this, I'll have a workspace named like three minutes. Um, so I'll have a workspace named three minutes, like BTC, USDT or something like that. And then I'll have um, an actual uh, uh, a workspace that has, um, let me pull up this one. Um, that has, has um, like an order book, order book, or order book uh, trading stains in like uh, an order form. And I'll flip directly into this, place my order, and start monitoring just that three minute interval until I actually fully exit the exit the market. And then I'll flip back to my uh, charts. Uh, so I have actually, so I'll flip back to my charts like this, and then monitor the next entry point then flip back to that workspace and just back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so Yogi, one of the questions I have is like, when you're using uh, BitMEX and you're actually on the platform, a lot of the times it seems like it's overwhelmed and you can't enter and exit. When you're using this system, does that improve? So it, it is based on uh, BitMEX's API. So we're tapping into their actual API as well. Um, we haven't noticed any issues uh, with their API. Usually, um, if you, uh, th those same people, uh, I mean, I've Googled, uh, you know, when we were developing this platform, there's a lot of people that um, trade strictly through BitMEX's API because the platform that their front end gets overwhelmed and it starts hanging and crashing and, um, you know, people aren't able to do anything. We haven't noticed that those same issues through ours because we are using their API and it seems to be a lot more stable. Um, and that's honestly one of the things that we've uh, focused on is improving the UI because right now my, you know, I, I usually use my laptop and going to Binance, I bet a lot of people have this issue too. If you go to Binance and you have just one tab open, you can hear your fan just like running and running and running nonstop. Um, you know, their order books and, uh, and, and charting system is just so heavy. I mean, if I, um, if I pulled it up right now, you probably start hearing my fan going. Um, whereas with Aurox, even if you have like 30, I've, trust me, I've tested this just to see how, how overloaded I can make the, the system. Uh, and I've had 30 charts open and my computer is like just not even an uptick in CPU usage. Uh, and that was, I mean, in order to do that, that was like a six month development process. Like one of our developers was working on that for six months to improve the stability and improve uh, um, the, the loading and everything uh, of Orox to make sure that even someone on the lowest um, possible uh, uh, computer specs can load it up and use it without any problems. 
All right, that's great because you know we're going into a bull market, and one of the signs of a bull market is crashing exchanges. <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if the exchange itself crashes, we can't do anything about it. But we've noticed that the APIs are usually stable because um, uh, it has a lot less, a uh, lot less usage. Uh, the external APIs do. Um, but you know, if it, if the exchange goes down, then there's honestly nothing. Uh, if the entire exchange goes down, there's nothing that we can do about it. But we've noticed uh, even during these huge run-ups like uh, that we've seen in the past couple of days, um, our platform has been smooth as, ab as ever. All right, great. I got another question regarding exchanges. Are you guys going to add, uh, you may have already, but I have not checked, Uniswap or Mooniswap or any of those other DEXs? So we're thinking of adding Uniswap, but um, I mean, it would just be the charting itself because Uniswap doesn't really support, you know, uh, order books and stuff no. like that. There's, uh, no, there's no order books, but just to see the charts would be nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that'd be really cool because, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Hex and, you know, yeah. we don't use traditional exchanges. We use DEXs. So uh, that'd be cool to see. Yeah, um, we've been talking about it for the past um I don't know, about a month or so um we're thinking of adding it um it just our team is kind of stretched in right now um one of the things that our developer is working on uh, has been working on for the past month and it'll take another couple months before he's done is um is tweaking uh, the indicator um using ai so right now the the indicator uses like a specific algorithm that um isn't uh i mean it's back tested but it it's not um, artificial intelligence. Whereas right now he's creating the basis for artificial intelligence based indicator. And what that will do is it'll actually predict um, entries and exit points without uh, any specific algorithm. So what, what happens is, well, we're going to be training the, the AI using these other indicators. So, you know, we'll have um, RSI, MACD, uh, Fibonacci, all these indicators are going to be tossed to this AI uh, base and the and then we're going to tell it you know this is where you should be entering this is where you should be exiting this is the perfect entry this is the perfect exit and then based on that it will start training itself and then when it runs it will actually use that training to predict the entry and exit points without even using those original indicators anymore so it's a it's going to be a completely different system and so far it's been um shown to i i mean i think it's going to be successful uh, for multiple reasons um, based on, you know, what we've seen in the past uh, few days and from uh, testing it and uh, from honestly, my trust in this developer, he's a genius. Um, and I, I think he's going to do something great with it. So that'll probably be like a paid indicator when the time comes, right? Yeah, that, that part will be paid because it's, I mean, it's going to be just four or five months of development. Um, so about, I want to say about February, we might see something come out. Uh, but even after it's done, it's going to be just constant tweaking and constant uh, work. Of course, of course. All right. So you got, is there anything else you want to show about the platform before you start talking about your big news that's coming up? Um, I mean, I think that's uh, basically it. Uh, the, I mean, anyone that's watching this video, I really suggest um, going through the tutorials because what we've seen is um, the there's like a massive fall off between users that um, log in once and log in multiple times. If they log in that second time, we're seeing you know they're staying on the platform. They're asking us questions. They're they're actually you know utilizing it um, and I think the main difference between those two groups of people is the first group that logs in once they're not taking the time to actually go through our tutorials and go through our guides and we've made that as I mean we've spent a lot of time to make sure that we educate our users and uh, unfortunately some of them aren't uh, taking that step to you know spending that five minutes to simply click these buttons down here so we have you know we have an interactive guide that actually let you go through these uh, different uh, functionalities uh, and, and to how to use them. And, and for example, if I wanted to know how to use uh, create a workspace, all I have to do is click, click that and it actually will take me through and guide me on, um, you know, how to create that workspace for, uh, for me to use. Um, the issue is that no one's really going through these steps or not no one. Uh, some people aren't going through these steps and they're, and they're you know, I was wondering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and you I mean, know, think about it. I mean, when you when you uh, when you open up something new, you want to play with it right away. You, you know, you just like jump in and start using it. I think we a yeah. lot of us have that habit, and we don't want to read the instructions, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's why, like, you know, we spent a lot of time, um, you know, working on these tutorials. So, like, even if you don't use the interactive guide, um, you can just uh, we have these video guides down here um, that can, you know, help you. Um, so, you, like, let's say you don't want to go through each one, and let's say you just want to uh, reference something, you can just come to this, and then, you know, it's a five-second video for each step. Um, I mean, there's a lot of them, but it, in, in total, it'll just take you like two minutes to go through everything. Um, and using that, you can kind of get a head start on to how to use the, use the terminal to the best of your advantage. So like th these workspaces, like I said, I have multiple different workspaces set up for different intervals. That's something that you're going to have to kind of get used to and having these little steps, you know, how to create the workspaces, how to use the pairs and stuff like that. Um, it gives you a huge advantage over, you know, having to flip through different tabs and different windows. It's all right there, you know, just two clicks and you're already into a different workspace. You already have everything arranged and you're ready to place that order. Because when you're training on a four minute interval and, or a two minute interval, Losing that extra few seconds to enter could mean the difference between making $50 on a, a few minute uh, trade to, you know, making nothing or losing money. Um, and that's, you know, that, that's the power of having a, a terminal at your disposal. And that's why companies like um, TV Ameritrade have spent so much money uh, creating their uh, was it think or swim terminals is because it's extremely powerful if you know how to use them. All right, great. All right, so let's let's get into your your news. I don't want to make this video too long for our readers and what and people those who are watching it. Um, what's the big news for Aurox? You want to? Can you uh, click down the screen? Uh, stop sharing. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. All right. Great. Um, so g give us the news because I've been a user for a long time. I've known Terrace going back. I think about since 20, late 2016, early 2017. Uh, he was in a crypto trading group with me and I learned a lot from him over the years. And I was very excited when he announced Orox and I started using it right away. Uh, and now you guys have some big news coming out. Yeah, um, so we thought about, you know, how to make uh, the process of trading easier. Um, and we've been developing this uh, DeFi based uh, protocol in order to integrate into the Orox terminal itself. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of companies that are coming out with their coins and stuff that have absolutely no vetting that, you know, they put up a nice flashy website and, uh, you know, they're asking for money and we've seen how that goes with the ICOs, but we've done the legwork uh, for our plane and for what we're hoping will be a successful token launch. 50% um, of that is done. Um, you know, we've been in this business for a while now and we've been actively developing. We have a development team and everything. And this, um, this token will be kind of integrated into the terminal itself. Um, and it will give users the ability to, I mean, the, there's some incredible functions that we're going to integrate, but one of the cool features is uh, users will actually be able to earn liquid uh, currency, not just uh, our token, but actual, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum and whatever, just by trading through our platform. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, as far as I know, that's kind of unheard of. Usually, you know, when there's a terminal, they usually reward you with their own token, which, you know, it's, it's helpful, but, I'd rather sometimes make Bitcoin rather than some you know, other token that I'll have to dump later. Whereas with our platform, um, users will, that are actively trading will be able to use uh, their funds not only to trade, but also receive uh, cryptocurrency, the exact cryptocurrency that they're trading with. So if I have Bitcoin on Orox, I'll be able to earn interest uh, and make money off of that Bitcoin. Um, and this ties into like a DeFi protocol that we have uh, that we're going to be developing that's going to be integrated directly into the terminal. And um, the token will be, you know, very low uh, market cap. It'll be we won't be giving out tokens because in the end, this is our business and um, someone that's coming along, you know, I'll make a um, post on Twitter to, you know, send people to your website and give me 10,000 tokens. That, that's not going to happen. 
Um, the tokens will be specifically for users that um, are giving back to the terminal, um, using the terminal um, in order to build up our business. Uh, we're not going to let them dump the token onto the market and see our uh, liquidity and see everything just go, go to zero. Um, that's not our goal and that's never going to be our plan. So the token is going to be backed up by our business that's been you know around for two years now and our terminal and everything. And I think it's going to be a pretty successful and pretty significant uh, addition in, in cryptocurrency. Right. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm, I'm actually, you know, I thought about it and I think I'll start making my short Forex videos again, the trading videos. They were so popular, but you know, when the, this whole CV thing hit, you know, yeah. everyone was down the dumps and I was one of those people that down the dumps as well. So I wasn't really making as much content, but you know, uh, you know, things are, I'm in Acapulco. I'm feeling good, <laughs> you know, yeah. but I'm setting up my office, you know, things are getting ready. So, you know, I got to start making some great content. I think I'll be using, the Orox platform to record those videos. And I hope more people out there use it. I mean, get Orox.com, right? That's your website. Uh, what's yeah. your telegram? What's t.me? Um, so we actually have hyperlinks. If you just do Orox.app slash telegram, it'll take you directly to the telegram channel. Or you can just do t.me uh, or is it me? Yeah, t.me. Yeah. Um, I think Orox. Or, let me actually check. I'm pretty sure it's... Uh, so it's uh, t.me uh, slash get or walks, but we usually send them through our hyperlink because it's a little easier to remember. Oh, great, great. Oh. So everyone check it out. You know, I, I'm telling you, this platform beats the stocks off of TradingView. And if you're, if you're a newbie trader, you want to be using this one. You really get your hand held. <laughs> if you got into trading back in 2014, like I did, there was no hand holding. <laughs> Talk about getting liquidated. I was I was a liquidated master, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean a lot has changed, and I think uh, people are a lot more uh, wary of you know where they're investing their money, and you know Orox will help you <laughs> along that way. I hope so. Gilbert, thank you so much, and uh, tell Terrace I said hi. Uh, I will I will get this video up tonight. We'll get edited and and published, and then tomorrow it will be on Crypto Daily, and hopefully you guys get some more users from uh, publishing. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Thanks. Bye.